bring him back. And you can mourn for the good old days, but that won't bring them back. And you can mourn for it to be like it used to be with Grandma, and that won't bring it back. And you can mourn for the days of old traditional religion, and that won't bring it back. Aaron is dead, and it's time to move on into the next level of revelation and the next level of demonstration. Listen, it is a dangerous position. For we as His priesthood to no longer be able to lead the people any further. Amen. When we come to the point that we're no longer willing to reach into the new thresholds of glory that God has set before our faith. Not only have we ourselves come to a close, but we've brought our people to a growth stunt. They can no longer push on. They can no longer go. And if they, they'll get in a place of cold and complacency and sadness and mourning just like these did for Aaron. 30 days. It's, uh, it turns into years and it turns into decades. Uh, and they're singing the same songs and they're preaching the same sermons and they're telling the same old ghost stories and they're talking about the same never is anything now happening with them. Everything's way back yonder. I remember when and I remember back then. Don't you want to go back to the good old days you poor women wouldn't be able to sit in the service of one of them good old days holiness churches. You'd be an outcast to them. You'd be a Jezebel to them. Bless God. You don't want to go back to them days of bondage, uh, chains and shackles uh, where men dominate and manipulate your mind uh, and decide who's going to hell and who's not a going to hell. Bless God, you better get under Eliezer's anointing. You better come into the new priesthood of God. Let Aaron die on that mountain and let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let the Lord raise up some sons of that same horn of oil that poured on the head of David with a fresh oil. David said, my horn shall thou exalt like that of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Dead flies. Dead flies in the ointment of the apothecary bringing forth a stinking savor. But brother, when the priesthood is flowing in the day that God ordained it to walk in, it's a sweet savor to God. It's an incense rising up in the holy place and God receives it and He accepts it. But I'll tell you, God is whipped out with a generation of preachers that has not had their sword out of the sheep. Uh, hallelujah. In 20 years, uh, uh, they've not had it out. Uh, they just told about what it looks like. Uh, and they talked about how they used to kill with it. Uh, and they talked about how they used to win battles with it. Uh, and everybody shakes their head. And they know it's true. Uh, but underneath all of that, uh, they're longing for an hour when he'll pull that thing back out uh, and shake